the Huddersfield Town fans were furious with referee Lee Mason after the official handed them a late penalty against Cardiff City this weekend before changing his mind moments later. Joe Bennett looked to have fouled Florent Tatter Jonah in the 76th minute at the Cardiff City Stadium on Saturday, with the referee showing no hesitation in pointing to the spot in South Wales. But, after a conversation with linesman Stuart Burt, Mason reversed his decision and allowed Bluebirds keeper Neil Etheridge to restart play with the ball in his hands. The teams went on to play out a goalless stalemate in the Welsh capital, with Town remaining eight points adrift in the Premier League table. The decision sparked anger from the town supporters who have seen their side on the end of some harsh decisions already this season, such as Steve Mooney's red card handed out in the home defeat to Brighton. On the penalty incident, town fan Roger from Shebley wrote, We showed some spirit and fight today off the dreaded 10 points and stopped losing run, but what an absolute disgrace referee was. Players don't influence refs. What a joke, Cardiff City v Huddersfield Town View Gallery James from Sheffield added, the ref bottled it. How can we expect to avoid relegation when every decision goes against us? Almondbury-based Mike also vented his frustrations over the referee before highlight Jonathan Hogg is his standout player at the weekend. He wrote, robbed again by poor refereeing. Hogg was man of the match, covered every blade of grass, Richard from Kirk Burton shared Mike's view of the official, but also praised Town for their display in Wales. He put, Town were much the better team and really put in a good shift. However, no striker again and that stood out like a sore thumb. Punchin was excellent and a very good signing. Now we need someone to get a move on to get a goal scorer or two or even someone who gets into the box to take advantage of the supply which was better today. Can't believe the ref awarding a penalty then changing his mind as he did. Please, Mr. Chairman, release the funds for the players David Wagner needs and so do the supporters, although many blamed the official for the handling of the incident, some could not help but look ahead to what they believe the future now holds for the Terriers. Tony from Salandine look wrote, too little too late for town. Let's regroup in the championship. Keep Wagner whom I am sure will stay and try for an immediate return to the Premier League both wiser and stronger, Peter from Edgerton added, better of two really poor teams. David Wagner deserves so much credit for two seasons, but the thought of watching this negative stuff in the championship next year depresses me. He simply doesn't know how to score goals, Robert from Almondbury is still optimistic of Town's chances of survival, though. He wrote the decision regarding the penalty could prove costly at the end of the season. Officials can ruin games, and I think of the incident early in the Brighton game when Mona was sent off for a soft tackle when we were 1-0 ahead. Best attitude to have in the next few difficult games is to play very attacking games at home and be prepared to throw caution to the wind. Surprises could happen, especially if we have signed a striker by then. Also, Aaron M-O-O-Y will be back for the fixtures against the mid-table teams. All is not lost yet. Fulham, Cardiff, and Newcastle could all be relegated, his namesake from Kirk Burton was also positive over Town's display and was bemused over the penalty decision, but believes the Terriers are short of quality in the final third. He wrote decent performance from Town apart from the usual problem of not being able to score. However, there is no doubt a vital victory was denied by one of the most incredible refereeing decisions ever seen. The referee was weak but Town still lack a cutting edge.